Yo, fam, to say that this random ass drop on a Wednesday night, Thursday morning from two artists who I don't even know when their albums are coming, to say that that caught me by surprise, serious understatement. Now, obviously, as you know, I'm a fan of Drake. I've always been a fan of Drake. I found Drake before he was even Drake and when he was just when he was wheelchair Jimmy. I say it every opportunity that I get because it's one of my prouder moments being a music enthusiast is finding that dude when he was basically nobody. And when it comes to Brent, I think Brent has the potential to be one of the stronger male, one of the stronger male R&B artists in the game. I, I, and like it caught a lot of people by surprise. But on my 2020 album, like top 10 albums of the year, Year for me, Brent's Brent's last album that came out in 2020 was on there, and I didn't mention Brent whatsoever on my channel. His whole aesthetic of just fuck the world and fuck everything, and and these bitches don't mean nothing to me, is super super toxic and i'm here for it the level of toxicity from brent is at that level of the weekend it, it might honestly be above that level it might be like it might be like mixtape weekend and then obviously drake drake is like the king of toxicity the dude just like he knows how to keep women on like that leash on that rope like have them dangling just the way that he words things in his songs so i'm excited man i mean like these two on a track this should be a like a can't miss type situation the only thing that's giving me a little bit of pause is that the track is five minutes literally five minutes and one second long that is a long ass track for like i'm assuming an r&b style sound so i guess we just gotta see but let's get on into it we got wasting time for those wondering what i look at when i'm looking to the side it's the audio waves from the microphone to make sure it's recording right You see, you, you just hear how toxic that is, bruh. Like if you're gonna waste your time, not like if you're gonna waste your time, come use it wisely with me. Like I'm gonna waste your time too, but you might as well waste it with me because I'm doing way bigger things than homie's gonna be doing. If you're gonna waste your time, you might as well come waste it with me, son. And, and this song so far, and this is something that I'm always concerned about whenever whenever Drake, I'm always concerned when I see Drake on a track listing that the, that the song is gonna sound like it's catered to Drake. Like that is something that is always a concern of mine just because of the sheer star power that Drake has. So I'm happy that a minute into the track, it doesn't even sound like Drake would be on this song. I completely forgot to mention for those that don't know and, and the, the album art where it should have automatically clued me, but I completely forgot that this track is that this track is uh produced by the Neptunes. Yes, sir. Bruh. You hear how like you just hear how like smooth this motherfucker is, bruh? Brent, The Weeknd, and Drake, all three of them. It like boggles my mind that they are literally talking about using women, specifically Brent and The Weeknd, but like the way that they the way that they talk about women like they're just objects and and like being straightforward with them, being as straightforward as possible that they're going to use them and spit them out and move on to the next. But yet these women eat this shit up. They eat it up, bruh. And they eat it up because of just the level of swagger and confidence and everything that they bring as like their like their aura about them and their air about them as they like present themselves. 100% they're gonna get hurt and still they go. You can have all the space because I don't really want you here. I only want you for that moment. So you can have all the space after that. Bruh, this is, oh my God. Before we get on to Drake. All right, so Brent's performance, flawless. It's exactly what I expected. It's And once I realized and once I remember that it was the Neptunes on the production, like the, it just makes sense. The Neptunes producing Brent. They, it's like two peas in a pot. And I don't know if it's because I already went into the track with the mindset that this song is long. So I was like expecting some type of like repetition, something that might get a little stale, not necessarily stale, but it did repeat itself. It did seem sound very repetitious because of, I feel like the verses are really short. Like the song is just providing a mood, it's providing a vibe and an atmosphere, but Brent's part isn't really saying a whole lot. Doesn't mean that it sounds bad. It just means in my mind, it could probably have been a little bit shorter than five minutes. But what the fuck do I know? 
that's just the start. It can plenty things kind of life, but Yo. No one is the thought of it. No peace around. Hold life. on, hold on, hold on. I was not expecting a Drake flow that's like con like constant. Normally, when Drake flows on this type of like sh like this style of beat, it's normally like really quick. And then he pauses and says some other shit. I didn't mean for that to rhyme, but it did. I'm still going on because I could spit. I don't know what else to say, so this is it. I quit. Looking at your first week numbers, like, what are those? And then he pauses. You boys ain't even coming close. And then pauses. Surround my neck, his chess games. Cause shorty stay with calculated moves like Beth Harmon. Flush the made just so they not collecting my specimens down. Bruh, bruh, hold, hold on. Drake ain't rapped like this in a minute, bro. Like the delivery, the schemes, the wordplay, like it, th this... This might be one of his best verses. This right here is more technically a, more technical than anything that Drake has dropped in like a year, year and a half. And I'm psyched about it because he's like elevating his lyrical style right here, but also staying true to his style and not bending into what Brent would like normally do. I would, when I saw when I heard Brent Drake, I was 100% expecting like R&B Drake because that like fits perfectly with Brent. But we got rapping Drake. Not only did we get rapping Drake, but it's like complex rap. Drake. I feel like when Drake raps about or talks to women in his raps, I feel like he waters it down. There's a little bit of similes and metaphor. There's a little wordplay there, but it's all pretty straightforward. This right here is not going to be your average like listeners type of type of rap. And I applaud him for that. And even though the technical delivery is more complex, it's still the same type of lyricism and it's the same type of wordplay that we come to expect from Drake. Like I said, like new new piece on my chest chess chess but also calculating moves like beth Harmon, and then i'm more prince purple rain prince than prince charming i'm more like i'm more this bad boy than i am this, this knight in shining armor type dude disappointment i stay expecting it a pessimist like someone who's always in like a negative mind state gold medalist i gotta flush the condom i gotta flush the magnum down the toilet i can't be having them collect my specimens magnum condoms by trojan they come in gold foil gold can't have them collecting my sperm it's just the wordplay and the delivery that he's giving right now that's just like elevating it for me hearing me out for once would require that you actually listen god damn it he knows you ain't really trying to do all that but the wordplay and the way that he words things and this is why i say personally i don't think drake has a ghostwriter yes he has a team of people that are helping him come up with ideas and hone certain sounds and all he's a global superstar i've never considered him an mc i guess you would say he's not he's not gonna be what eminem is eminem will never ever have anybody give input on his rhymes or his because he he wants to be that dude we respect drake as an artist but you can tell that there's a certain sound and delivery and style that he has in his writing that it's him behind the pen i don't give i don't know what people don't get about that like just listen to this right here i'm gonna read some of this off to you because i don't want to go back and pause and play and pause and play you're at you're used to do skincare but now you do swimwear bruh do you know how many like females that i've seen online that like promoted some type of skincare type thing and then now they're on to fitness wear or now they're on to like luxury swimwear or whatever the fuck they're just all trying to get this quick bag not realizing everything that it takes to have a successful brand that's such a drake thing to say and then he says your ex roommate got a condo that's downtown but she got no furniture in the crib because I, I know because i've been there like y'all want to front like y'all want to y'all want to act and be on the gram like y'all live this lavish lifestyle but it's at the very bare minimum y'all are barely affording rent in this spot y'all can't even afford no furniture but y'all don't give a fuck because y'all are going out and y'all are going to the do spot like it's just such a drake way of saying things and he said the only time i play back and forth is when i play the Aaliyah record bruh Aaliyah's debut single was titled back and forth but he only plays back and forth with these. He don't play no back and forth with these bitches like arguing. The only time I play back and forth is when I play that Aaliyah Red Dog. I don't know how people deny that this day that Drake don't write his own shit. You know? See, it's my bag. Say that. Uh, I bag bands with me in the bag. When I was oh, all this. All this. Oh, accurate. Bruh. 
Did you hear how many times this man said back? It's like when Jay-Z did 22 twos. Too many bitches wanna be ladies, so if you a hoe, I'ma call you a hoe. Too many bitches is shady. Too many ladies give these brothers too many chances. Too many brothers wanna be lovers, don't know what romance is. Too many bitches stuck off from too many sexual advances. No question, Jay-Z got too many answers. I've been around this block too many times. Rock too many nines, cock too many nines too. This man said, the boy is back. I never turned my back, just lapped him. So now all they see is my back. Like I never turned my back on the family. The only people that see my back are the rappers that I just lapped around. Said that then Maybach, like Maybach Benz with me in the back because he's got a chauffeur and he ain't driving his own Maybach. When I was in Acuras, I still couldn't clean my act up. Oh my God, bruh. Crazy. Drake's verse was insane. This song, I don't even know what I'm gonna rate it right now because I feel like it's almost two separate songs. I don't even, what, what are y'all thinking? What are y'all thinking? I'm thinking like, Maybe a seven. I do like Drake's part more than I like Brent's part because I wasn't expecting Drake to come this hard and I was also hoping that Brent wasn't as repetitive as he was. Drake's part elevated it. Brent's like, I feel like it's even an outright at about a seven, but that's just me. All I know is that Brent, the Neptunes, and Drake coming spazzing the way that he was out of nowhere, just randomly on a Thursday morning, I'm about it, son. But yo, that brings us to the end of this video, ladies and gentlemen. If you like what you see, please consider liking, leaving a comment down below. If you like what you see enough, please consider subscribing. These longer form breakdowns, commentary, that's how I get down. So if that's your vibe, hit the subscribe button. Most importantly, hit up Twitch. If you wanna watch live streams, I am doing live reactions on like Thursdays and Fridays normally. So if you wanna like see what that vibe is, hit the Twitch, it's the second link in the description. But other than that, I appreciate everybody's time. And like I always say at the end of all of my videos, go out there in the world, love and care for one another, love and care for each other and I'll catch everybody on the next video. Peace.